How you doing, man? Doing good. good. Welcome to our great city. I'd like to introduce you to Cat. This is Cat, my co-host. So what we're doing is we are live streaming on Raptors.com. So you can just say what up to the people right now. How y'all doing? John Lucas III. All right. Now, um, we, we, we've got a lot of Twitter questions. The fans have sent in some some tweets to Cat, so she's gonna ask you a few questions. Okay. I have a couple of my own. I want to start with one of my own, of course. First off, how was your summer? Summer is great. Summer, you know, summer is good. Uh, relaxed. Worked out like crazy. Uh, get ready for this upcoming season, and um, summer's over with now. So back to work. It's back to work. <laughs> word, word. All right, Cat, your turn. Nope. At Greater Bob on Twitter says, having an increased role last year near the end of the year, how do you take the ad experience and build on it this season here in Toronto? Uh, I'll keep building. You know, I'm coming from, you know, Chicago Bulls and coming here, you know, I think I'm going to bring the same. I, I think I know I'm going to bring the same energy that I brought when I had the opportunity to play there. And, um, you know, I feel like one thing I know that, what Cape are doing is making the playoffs this year. And people look at me like I'm crazy when I say that to my friends back home and stuff. But I feel like BC and uh, Coach Case has been putting in the pieces of the puzzle together to to um, get us to, to turn that other leap over, to get to that level. And I'm looking forward to it. It's a new beginning, new start for, I think, for myself and for this team because of a lot of new faces. All right, now, you made the decision to come to Toronto, of course. What was What was the biggest factor in choosing this destination? Uh, just being an organization that's more like family than not just a business. And that's what BC and, uh, Coach Case brings. Like, I stayed in contact with them the whole free agency, um, experience. And one thing was like, look, man, we want you to make the best decision for you. Um, and getting here and you seeing that they're both men of their words, um, plays a lot to me because I feel like your word is everything. And, you know, and when it comes to off the court stuff, it's no more basketball. It's like Coach Casey comes in and be like, you know, how's your family? You know, how's your mom doing? And how's your sister? Like, he, like, goes through everybody. And it's not like, oh, I think you should have done this on the court today instead of that. Like, once we leave the locker room, it's, it's about life. It's about what's going on off the court. Because when you step into that line, yes, it's about basketball. But other than that, it's stuff bigger than basketball, too. So that's – and it gives me, like, that college feel that, you know – you got another five. Yeah, yeah, so it may, it may, it makes you want to go out there and leave everything you have on the line for people like that because they have a good heart and they have a genuine heart and it shows them, it shows you it's not just, they're not, they're not just about their business. It's about other than that and that's big. That's, that reminds me of something Isaiah Thomas said in the book of basketball. He said that the key to winning a championship and being successful in basketball is not anything about basketball. It's about finding five guys you really care about and going out there and winning for them. Absolutely. And you're speaking to that right now. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's take it back to Twitter, Cat. What do you got going on over there? Twitter, and a lot of people have been commenting on some of the stuff you've been saying. Like here, Stacy says, we saw you tweet about Don Cherry of Hockey Night in Canada. What do you think of him? Well, I like that guy. He's crazy. <laughs> I watched the show. I think it was like part one and part two. So I finished it. Yes, I had to DVR it to finish because I had to get to the gym to work out. But as soon as I got home, I had like got some wings from St. Louis and went upstairs and started watching it. Uh, that guy spoke what he, you know, he he kept it real. Like even if people didn't like it, he was like, "Look, this is me." And they tried to fire him. Seemed like every other season, and he was like, "I'm not changing. This is who I am." And then I like him because he didn't care what he had on too. Yeah, he, he has to not care what he has on. I mean, that guy used to wear drapes. Literally, as like, a, like, kind of, kind of, see, wear something like that. You guys can't see. That, that's on the subdued style. Color. Yeah. yeah. A little he, bit more color. I mean, in the, in the, in he the whole orange. collar and stuff. Like, you know, you have to be, you have to be very assured yourself to walk out the house. I like that. That's swag. I, 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 yeah, that's yeah. true swag. That's like, true swag. People talk about swag being this and that. No, that's swag because you have to have a lot of swag to pull that off. <laughs> Let's go to the poll. Oh, okay. Squeeze that in. All right. So uh, we've been asking your teammates who the most competitive player on the team is. We actually we actually asked the coach as well. Mm -hmm. So now it's your your go. You can't vote for yourself. Oh, you know I was going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we know everyone was probably going to do that. So we disallowed it. But I'll tell you this right you know, now. It's, you, a, it's a lot of guys. It's a lot of guys that's very competitive. It's a three-man race, though, and you're one of those three men. Well, I know Kyle is very competitive. Me and him, he gets to a point where we're in each other's face, and that's one of my really good friends. But at the end of the day, Kyle cheats. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. I, right. I hope he's around. Kyle cheats. Okay. I'm going to let everybody know Kyle cheats. At this game point, Kyle Lowry, number three, is going to try and we hit the shot. He somehow is going to try to get us to take the possession back. 
he doesn't like to he doesn't like to lose and he cheats. Cal cheats. He's a cheater. Uh, okay. And you know what? I do the same thing. So, <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> hey, those are the kind of guys I want on my team. The guys that do anything to win. John Lucas the third. Thank you so much for your time, my man. Good looking out.